Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and we're changing the game frame by frame. Today I've got a really cool tutorial for you. It's how to ride a bike with some nice motions on it and you know get the legs kind of moving with the pedals etc. Really simple to do and the great thing about this is that iClone actually gives you a bicycle that actually has built-in physics that you can start riding. So it's really, really cool. Um, it comes with iClone, so if you just search for a bike, you should find it in your iClone folder. Bear in mind, it did come with iClone 7, so you may need uh, to search your iClone 7 folders if you're using that, and um, you can drag that straight into iClone 8. But I'm gonna show you how to you know, get this thing up and running in no time. So what we wanna do is firstly, we're gonna add our character into the scene. I'm just gonna use Camille. We're gonna take her out for a lovely bike ride across the city. So once that's loaded in, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually begin to pose up the character. Now, to pose the character, of course, you just hit N on your keyboard. That will bring up your edit motion layer and you can begin to pose the character. Now, just to save time, I have already posed my character. So I'm just gonna go into my custom motion and I'm gonna add the pose that I already created for the character. So we'll just, double click on this and that should put my character in that pose. Okay, brilliant. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna connect the character to the bike, put her in the right place and we'll just go close and make sure everything lines up. So we can see the feet are pretty much on the pedal, which bring them down a little bit about there. And uh, the other foot needs to just slide over a little bit as you can see. So we'll just slide that over. And now we can see the feet are connecting to the pedal and the hands are nearly in the right place. Uh, we'll just hit N on our keyboard and we'll just adjust these hands a little bit just to get them in the correct place for now. And once we've done that, uh, we'll see we've got this pretty cool pose set up on this bike. And then we're gonna start to get this character to ride that bike. Now, again, as I said, we can see the physics are built in. So up here in this little box, we can actually start driving the bike and stuff and get that you know, get that going with some motion. If I hit drive now, you're gonna see that's gonna start to leave our character, of course. Now, what we're gonna wanna do is, firstly, we're gonna wanna link the character to the bike. So we're just gonna click on our bike. We'll shut down the motion layer and we'll click on our bike. And then we're just gonna delete this motion that got recorded and we'll go back to the beginning of our timeline. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on our character and we're gonna say link to and we're going to link the character to any part of the bike it doesn't really matter so we'll just link her to the base of the bike and now if we actually hit drive you'll see the character will start to move on the bike we can actually speed it up as well and get some faster motion going but of course you can see the feet aren't connected to the pedals and you know there's no real motion going on so we're going to just fix that very quickly we're just going to click on our bike and we're gonna remove this motion that got recorded. Bear in mind, every time you hit drive, it will record and bake the motion in your timeline. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna basically use the reach target tool to actually constrain her feet to the pedals of the bike. So when the pedals are going round in motion, so will her legs. So to do that, we're just gonna hit the number four on our keypad. And when we do that, that will bring up our reach target tool here. So it's very, very simple to use. All we're gonna be doing is clicking on the foot. We're gonna click select target and keep the current pose. So in this case, we've got this foot selected here. And then we're just gonna to wanna to select the pedal. So we're just gonna make sure we get a nice angle to see the pedal. And we're just gonna select that pedal. Now what that's done is that's constrained this foot to the pedal. So whatever motion's going on with the pedal, the foot will follow accordingly. We're just gonna do the exact same thing here to the other foot, which is our right foot here. So we're just gonna click on it, click on this little tab here, that'll bring up this area. And then we're gonna select target, keep current pose, and we're gonna select this pedal here, the right pedal. And now what we'll see is uh, the feet are actually constrained to the pedals and we can just adjust them if we wanted to adjust them slightly by now using the gizmos that come up here. Bearing in mind, if we actually close this and we wanted to bring up the edit motion layer, so I'll just go to the edit motion layer here. If we wanted to move the feet using the edit motion layer, you're gonna see very quickly you're not able to. So as you can see, it comes up that the objects contain reach targets that might interfere with the positioning. So we can't actually position the legs using the edit motion layer because we've actually constrained them using the reach targets to the pedals. So what we need to do to move anything that we've 
constrained, we always need to use the reach target function to then move the legs. So if we click on that now and we hit W, bring up our gizmo, you'll see we can now move uh, the foot and the leg uh, with the constraints. So that's the something to bear in mind and a really easy way to do it. So now we've got our feet constrained to the actual pedals. What we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same things for the hands because you're going to notice you know, when we start to drive the bike and we, you know, turn it using the rotate here to turn left and right, if we haven't constrained the hands, you know, they will maybe go through the mesh and it won't give you the results you want. So in order to, you know, just make sure they're uh, tightly gripped to the handles, we're just going to constrain them same way we did with the feet by just constraining them to the handlebar. And we'll do the same thing for this hand over here. And we'll just constrain that to the handlebar. So, um, computer's getting a bit laggy as it does sometimes. So they're, they're now constrained. And now what we're going to do is when we hit drive, I'm just going to close this. When we actually hit drive, you're going to see the feet are going to start to pedal with the bicycle. And it looks really, really, really cool. Now, you know, that's simple to do. It really is, you know, an easy, easy process. We'll just stop that and we'll go back to the beginning. And just to be able to follow this character's journey, we're just going to create a camera very quickly create a linear camera and then we're going to uh, link the camera to this character's head here and you know we'll hit play but you know we'll see it looks incredible guys it was that simple to do and um you know we can speed it up we can slow it down we can turn left and right so i'll just do that now just to kind of show you and give you an example but it's just a really um easy way to start getting some you know motions driving a bike and you know you can create some wonderful scenes as you can imagine so we're just going to um lift the camera up here now we're going to hit drive and we can speed the process up a little and you can see we can now start to turn and you know really get some nice motion going with the bike and you know, get this kind of cool character cycling around uh, through the grid and it just looks incredible. So it really is that simple. Um, you know, you can go away and start creating some amazing, amazing, awesome things, but you can see we're just having fun here. We're just literally cycling around and having fun. So I um, really hope that tutorial helps guys. Um, it really is that simple. If you get stuck on anything and you need any advice or any further help, just drop a comment in the comment section below and I'll be happy to help you in any way I can. But that concludes this tutorial. Really hope it helps and really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.